a bleak enough reputation to cover up a murder or two. The very first scene of House of the Dragon takes place at Harenhal, a castle that is in much better condition than when we see it in Game of Thrones. Like many things in Westeros, Harenhal's reputation far precedes it. In the latest episode, we see how that history was manipulated to cover up even bigger crimes. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. That allows the question of how Harenhal caught fire to remain a mystery, one which remained unsolved when chronicled in fire and blood. And Laris uses it to his advantage to cover up the kinslaying he, by extension of his minions just committed and gives a horrified Alicent Hightower the ability to bring her father Otto back to King's Landing. Naturally, he expects an eventual reward for this gift. You've heard the stories of Harenhal, your grace, Laris explained. It was built in hubris by Heron the Black, someone who was into his own greatness. Blood mixed into the mortar. It is said to be a cursed place, that it passes judgment on all who pass beneath its gates. Westerosi history proves Laris right, and many suspects are put forward in fire and blood. One is Corlys Valerion as a way to enact revenge on Harwin for making a mockery of Lainor through Rhaenyra's sons. Another is Daemon Targaryen, who apparently wanted to take out someone vying for Rhaenyra's attention. Laris is named as a suspect because his father and brother's deaths mean that he now gets Harenhal. Even Viserys is suspected at one point, he'd have more motivation than anyone to take out Harwin to shut down the rumors about the father of his grandsons. If nobody recalls what Harwin looks like, they can't say the Valerian boys look like him, can they? The largest castle in the Seven Kingdoms isn't the Red Keep, Winterfell, or Dragonstone. It's Harenhal, which Heron the Black of House Hor, a king who ruled over the Riverlands and the Iron Islands, had ordered to be built. It took nearly 40 years to complete, depleted the financial resources of Heron's citizens, and resulted in the death of thousands of men who worked on it. Harenhal was supposedly impregnable, and it was to the castle that Heron the Black fled after losing a battle against Aegon the Conqueror and his forces. Many of the families in the Riverlands, who had been invaded by Heron's forebears, had little love for Heron and abandoned him for Aegon. According to Fire and Blood, Aegon offered Heron mercy, if he bent the knee and pledged himself to Aegon's cause, Heron would be allowed to rule over the Iron Islands and his sons after him. Heron elected to stay in his castle and waited out, telling Aegon that those walls are strong and thick, and that stone does not burn when reminded of Aegon's dragon Balerion. In response, Aegon pledged to end Heron's line that very night, which he did when he flew into Harenhal and used his dragon to burn the castle and everyone in it. As promised, Heron the Black's line was completely wiped out. From there, essentially every family in the Riverlands who hadn't already pledged themselves to Aegon did just that. Since Heron's death, several families have, at one point or time, held the castle. But at this point in its history, every house that held Harenhal would eventually become extinct, although their ends might not have been as dramatic as what happened to Lionel and Harwin. Nor did they all necessarily die at Harenhal. After Heron the Black's death, Aegon gave the castle to a member of House Coheres, but House Coheres was ended in a rebellion led by an alleged grandson of Heron the Black. House Haraway got it next, but that house found its end at the hands of King Mager the Cruel. From there, Harenhal was awarded to House Towers after its head won a melee. It passed down from father to son until that line died out, too, the last tower's lord was sickly. As fire and blood puts it in the wake of House Haraway's extinction, men began to say that Harenhal was cursed, for every lordly house to hold it had come to a bad and bloody end. The only person not to have been subjected to the curse was Reyna Targaryen, the eldest sister of King Jaehaerys I Targaryen. She moved into Harenhal after the death of her daughter Arya and befriended the lord of the castle and kept him company until his death. She stayed there until her death, and while her direct line may have ended, one daughter predeceased her, the other was a septa in Old Town, her death did not mark the end of House Targaryen. From there, House Strong took over the castle which it's held for the better part of fifty years, with Lionel and Harwin's deaths, Harenhal now goes to Laris. By the time we get to A Song of Ice and Fire, it's changed hands several more times, most recently, 
Littlefinger holds it, but he's yet to occupy it himself. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.